Right. Among one of the challenges that we have in chinuch, in educating uh, kids, is of course to uh, how do we keep them staying from? How do we keep them staying religious? And sometimes it seems like there's so many guys or girls who somehow fade out that it's it's really scary. Of course, that is an indication that something is not working 100 percent and you see that regardless of the amount of information that you have and and so on and so forth every generation has a different challenge and our challenge is not unique because that happened in the past beforehand and it's the challenge of a muna people simply don't have a muna I'm, I'm not talking about secular people i'm talking about religious people even religious people, a person who goes and puts thrilling on three times, oh no, he doesn't put thrilling, he puts thrilling on, davens three times a day, you know, does, goes through the motion, so-called, they still have a problem with their munah. Big problem. And I do believe that a lot of it is because simply we don't talk about emuna. And if we do, we, we talk about, oh, emuna, you know, they accept what it is, emuna, you know. It's like when you go get the tie, you get emuna. It's amazing to me. I mean, I see, you know, when you go to Israel, I, you know, go to this shul, go to that shul. In Israel, things are a little different. And there are places where you sit in, and not necessarily the rabbi, some, some person who is a bucky, we understand, we sit down and they would learn, for example, the Rambam. There are segments of the Rambam that everybody knows they're there, but nobody ever looks at them. All the issues of the Rambam that talks about Emunah, you know, with Sefer Ramadan, or even in Moren Nebuchim, there are people in Israel, and they're not young, they sit down and they have a Seder Kavua, or learning Moren Nebuchim. Well, what's the problem with that? So the problem of a muna is a great problem. In yeshiva, you go to yeshiva, nobody talks to you about how to get, how to develop. Where does a muna come in? What is a muna? A muna does not mean that you say everything, Baruch Hashem, Bezrat Hashem, Baruch Hashem, Bechas de Shamaim. That is not a muna. A muna is not something that you say, oh, I'm Hashem will, you know, will take care of it. That's also not a muna. A <coughs> muna comes, among other things, today we can talk about one thing, comes from Rabbatai, from appreciation. And that is love as well. We're supposed to believe in Hashem, and we're supposed to, even more so, higher level is to love Hashem, and we're not capable of doing that. Because we don't teach our children to appreciate. I mean, simple appreciation. When, for example, you open the door, right? You open the door, you're about to go into a place. How many times it happened to you that somebody else whoop, walks right through? I mean, it happens to me in yeshiva. I go to yeshiva, to a certain yeshiva sometimes to daven. I open the door to enter. Somebody walks in, somebody walks out. And it's like, I'm the doorman. Nobody would say thank you. Or just wait, please. Yes, of course, the halachot coming into Beta Midrash, Yotze Mita Beta Midrash, you know, who is, uh, you know. Nothing. You open, they open the door, somebody walks right in. Somebody opens the door to you, says, please, Bechabot. You should really say thank you. Thank you. And really think about it. Somebody acknowledge your existence. You, you don't need to go to therapy today because you, you somebody acknowledge your existence. Appreciate what somebody's doing to you. Or somebody's doing for you. And then the fact that you take everything for granted because everything is deserved to you without you putting any effort and then on top of that you complain you, then you want to talk to me about emuna. then you want to talk to me about love of love of Hashem when was the last time you appreciated somebody did something to you really like you sat down and you really said oh my goodness I can't believe what this person had done for me it's really unbelievable when was the last time you, you, you actually thought 
But what Kadosh Baruch Hu is doing for you? You don't care. You don't care. You take it for granted. And you do go to the motions. Okay, I get up in the next day, I go in the daven, you know, put feeling on. I don't, I'm going through the motions. You never sit down five minutes and say, Olam, what have you done for me? You gave me. The people that Baruch Hashem, I got to meet in, you know, in my life and how much they contribute to me and how much opportunity I had to contribute to them and, and so on and so forth and then take the time to appreciate to the people. Do you ever say to the person, listen, you know, I really appreciate you know, thank you, thank you so much for being my friend. I really appreciate it. Now you understand when you come to yeshiva, I do tell you, thank you for coming. I really appreciate it. because I really do appreciate you coming to yeshiva. But my question to you: Do you appreciate what I do to you? Do you? Or you take it for granted? And that's going to linger, continue through your lives. In the way you're going to interact with your wives and your children and everything else. I do believe that the reason for that beyond the fact that we don't teach that and nobody ever teaches you to do that is because you're very weak, because we're selfish. Selfishness stems from weakness. Selfish people are weak people. People who are not selfish are strong people. Because you find it within you to give you strong. If you're selfish, or somebody points out to you that you're selfish, you know that you're a very weak individual. Very weak. So you do not lecture anyone. You do not point finger at anyone. You get done and you work on yourself. And then, eventually, you start to appreciate what people have. You know the famous story about the guy who goes to the Rebbe. He goes to the Rebbe. Yeah, the Rebbe says to him, No, what can I do for you today? He says, Rebbe, I need to move out of my house. My wife is driven me crazy. Why? What's wrong with your house? It's, it's, it's too small. It's too small. It's driving me crazy to move to a bigger house. The Rebbe thinks, he thinks, he said, do you have a, do you have a dog? Said, yeah. Bring him inside the house. I don't have room. What the Rebbe says, the Rebbe says. A week goes by. He says, Rebbe, my wife wants to throw me out. Why? The house is too small. Now we'll put the dog in. Not a problem. You have a sheep. Yeah. Bring it inside the house. He does it. Like this, week after week. Tell him to bring the cow in. Tell him to bring the, 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 the horse in. Bring your in-laws in. Bring your parents in. He says, Rabbi, I can't take this anymore. There's no room. And what did your wife say? There's no room. I said, good. Now take everything in out of the house, and then tell me. He comes home, you know, um, you know, he comes, he does this, he takes everything out, then him and his wife come to the rabbi, the rabbi says, no, how things, Baruch Hashem, the house got so big, unbelievable. You don't appreciate it. You don't appreciate what you have. You always want more. You don't appreciate what you have in your life. And you take it for granted. You don't appreciate that you have parents. That you could pick up the phone and say, Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. How you doing? You don't appreciate it. And one day they're going to be gone. I want to see you try to call your father from Malamaba. What are you going to do? 800 number? There's no 800 number to Malamaba. Or your sisters. Or your brothers. And even more so, the fact that you can come here every single day to learn Torah for free, and there's going to be somebody here to learn and to teach you. Take it into heart. Work on that. And you'll see that slowly, slowly, Emunah will, 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 will come back to you and will be a part of your life. Appreciation 
is a level of emuna, is a measure of love. If you don't appreciate, you don't love, and you don't have a moon idol. Have a nice day.